Hi everyone, Tasha from Stardust Gold Crochet. Today's Saturday Stitch tutorial is going to be the Solomon's Knot. This is super pretty. I used a foundation single crochet row to start because it's a little stretchier. And when I used the regular chain, it was kind of bunched up on the bottom. So you can see how this, oh my gosh, this netting it creates is so beautiful. So I'm working on a pattern right now for a beach coverall and I'll post that soon. So to get started, we're going to do a foundation single crochet row. So create your slip knot, and to create a foundation single crochet, you chain two, insert your hook into the first chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, chain one, yarn over and pull through two. Then you insert your hook in the bottom two chains, pull up a loop, chain one, and pull through two. And you repeat that all the way until you reach your desired number of chains. This pattern requires a ch multiples of four, and then you're gonna add one if you're gonna use the foundation single crochet. If not, you're gonna use multiples of four plus two. So create the rest and we'll come right back. Okay, so here I have 12 plus one, so I have 13. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain one and then we're going to work a single crochet into the very first foundation single crochet. And then we're going to start doing our Solomon knot. So what you do for the Solomon knot is you pull up a long loop, yarn over, pull through, insert your hook into the leftmost part of the chain, yarn over and pull up, then yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. So hold on to that little one on the left there it really helps then you can insert your hook back through with a very little trouble so you're actually completing a single crochet and we've got two Solomon knots completed there we're gonna skip three and work a single crochet into the fourth and after that we're gonna do two more Solomon knots so Pull up a long loop, grab onto that little left portion of the chain, insert your hook back through that left portion, yarn over and pull up, and then complete a single crochet. So there you go, you can grab on right there. It's really helpful, it helps keep it open so you don't, um, it doesn't get twisted. So we've got two more, skip three, and then we're gonna work a single crochet into the fourth and do two more Solomon knots. So these knots can be a little tricky. It does take some getting used to to keep them even, but once you get the hang of it, you get the hang of it. It starts going faster, believe it or not. So we have three left. We're gonna skip those last three and then work a single crochet into the very last foundation single crochet. And here we're gonna chain five so there you have, that's your first row. For row two, we're gonna chain five. And we're gonna turn and then work one Solomon knot on the top of that chain five. So pull up, grab onto the little edge, yarn over and pull up and then pull through to finish your single crochet. So for this one, we're going to work into the top peak so not the first single crochet but the second one and work a single crochet two Solomon knots after that we're gonna do two more and they kind of stack on top of each other and here we're gonna skip skip the single crochet, skip the next little loop, and then work into the top single crochet. And I kind of say they're kind of like peaks. So we're gonna work two more Solomon knots. And then we're gonna do again, we're gonna skip again. We're gonna skip, 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 and then work into the top of the peak, the single crochet. And we're coming towards the end here, which is done just slightly different. So you're going to do one Solomon knot. 
and then we're going to do a double treble into the last single crochet of that row. Double treble, you yarn over three times, and then you're going to insert your hook into the last single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, you'll have five loops, yarn over, pull through two, you'll have four, yarn over and pull through two, and then you have three. Yarn over, pull through two, and you have two. Yarn over, pull through two, and you have one. So there you go. There's your first couple of rows. Now for the next row, you're gonna chain one, turn, and then we're gonna work one single crochet into the first single crochet. And here we're gonna do two more Solomon knots. After I situate my yarn. So here, pull up, grab on, insert your hook, pull up, do a single crochet. I'm gonna work them just a little bit faster here. Then we're gonna skip, 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 and work into the peak of the next single crochet. I'm saying peak because it makes kind of a little peak of the diamond or an upside down V. So we're gonna work two more. That's how you can kind of tell, and I tell you I messed up on this stitch so bad. I had to rip out, oh, so many rows, and it was sad, it was horrible. <laughs> but I survived. Insert your hook into the top of the single crochet peak. And then we're gonna do two more Solomon knots. And here we're coming up at the end. You're gonna skip, 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 and we're back at the chain five. So we're gonna work a single crochet into the top of that chain five. And I try to get through two of those loops that are of the chain because, you know, a chain has three components to it. But if I work through two, it makes it a little bit sturdier than just working through one. So sometimes it takes me a second to get through if the chain is tight. So yarn over and do your single crochet, and that's it. So you repeat rows two and three. I like the foundation because you can stretch it, see? So you just repeat row two and row three until you reach your desired height. It's a really great stitch, I love it. I can't wait to finish this project. And one thing I noticed about the edges is when you come back on it, you'll find that your edges are going to be lined with the same the same double crochet or, or double treble or the chains so like for instance here you go like these are all at one edge is going to have all double crochet so you can keep track of your rows a little bit better so you know if you come up on a chain five that that's going to be a chain five row and the other one will be a double treble row I'm so in love with this. Look at this. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to finish it. So it's going to be a beach coverall, and I'll post the pattern on my blog very soon, hopefully within a week. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, you guys. Please subscribe and give it a like if you haven't already. And thanks for visiting. Happy crocheting.